Solid State Drives, or SSDs, are where you store your applications, games, programs, and files. SSDs are becoming the standard for internal system storage of today's computers and video game systems, replacing the old standard of hard disk drives, or HDD. An SSD uses flash memory for its storage. This means no physical moving parts inside, allowing them to achieve much faster access speeds than HDDs. There are different types of SSDs on the market. You may have read about the various standards such as SATA, SAS, and NVMe, including M.2, U.2, and PCIe. While the core technology is the same inside, certain SSD solutions use different connection types and technology to achieve their fast transfer speeds. Hi, I'm Michelle for OWC Rocket Yard. Today, we'll discuss the performance differences between SATA SSD versus SAS SSD versus NVMe, including M.2, U.2, and PCIe. SATA and SAS are the more traditional types of SSD storage. SATA stands for Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, while SAS stands for Serial Attached SCSI. These acronyms refer to how these drives connect to a computer. It's a type of cable and connector that connects a variety of internal storage devices, including solid-state drives, or SSDs. SATA and SAS SSDs usually fit into a 2.5-inch bay enclosure. SATA SSDs have historically been used in consumer computer products. SATA SSDs, like the Mercury line of SSDs, provide transfer speeds up to 550 megabytes per second, or 6 gigabits per second, and are ideal when adding a new 2.5 SSD or replacing a factory SSD in a legacy Mac or PC. You can also upgrade your PlayStation 4 internal storage with an SSD, like the Mercury Electra 6G SSD. SAS SSDs are often designed for continuous, sustained, 24-7 use with double the speed compared to a SATA drive. SAS SSDs are more advanced and reliable than SATA SSDs, also making them more expensive. Typically, SAS SSDs are used in enterprise solutions, such as workstations and servers with SAS connections. Because SATA and SAS have similar connection types, you can use SATA SSDs in SAS connection base. You will not see a performance increase in speed in the SATA drive by using the SAS connection. Think of it more as a cross-compatibility feature. Now let's talk about NVMe SSDs. First, some tech terminology. PCIe, or Peripheral Component Interconnect Express, is an internal interface connection on the computer's motherboard. NVMe, or Non-Volatile Memory Express, is the technology that lets an SSD communicate through the PCIe connection. NVMe SSDs use a combination of the PCIe internal bus and flash memory technology to achieve transfer speeds between 2400 megabytes per second to 3400 megabytes per second. You will find NVMe SSDs used in today's computers and video game systems like the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series S or X, taking advantage of the super fast transfer speeds that NVMe SSDs deliver. When you are looking to upgrade your internal storage in your computer, check to see if you're able to replace your internal drive with a faster NVMe SSD. For Mac users, you can check out your storage upgrade options with this link. If you are, then you will want to invest in OWC's Aura Pro line of internal NVMe SSDs. OWC's Aura Pro line ranges in capacity from 240 gigabytes all the way up to 8 terabytes of storage. They provide the perfect blend of speed and reliability for any use. Whether you're working on an 8K video project, wanting near instantaneous access for your game library, or wanting the fastest asset loading for memory intensive files. Newer computers also come equipped with USB-C, USB 4, or Thunderbolt ports. These ports are able to transfer data at speeds of 10 gigabits per second to 40 gigabits per second, depending on the connection type. One way you can take advantage of these higher transfer speeds is to connect an external SSD to the USB-C, USB 4, or Thunderbolt port. OWC's Envoy line of external drives are equipped with NVMe M.2 technology. This technology allows for increased performance and capacity than what is found in SATA and SAS SSDs. External Envoy SSDs connected to a USB-C, USB 4, or Thunderbolt port can achieve access speeds between 1,000 megabytes per second to 2,800 megabytes per second. 
External SSDs are the best option for everyday users and creative professionals wanting an SSD solution with the best balance of price, storage, and performance. While the flash technology inside external SSDs is incredibly fast, their transfer speeds are impacted by the speeds of the external Thunderbolt ports. For the users who need the absolute fastest transfer speeds available for their solid state drives, you'll need two things. First, to purchase SSD modules, often called blades, that use NVMe M.2 technology. Two, install these modules onto a PCIe SSD adapter card. What is M.2? M.2 is the connection type between an SSD and the adapter card. There is a reason that major GPU cards use PCIe connections. It's because the bandwidth, or transfer rate, can theoretically achieve speeds of up to 31,500 megabytes per second. PCIe adapter cards, such as the OWC Excelsior line, are able to transfer data much faster than what is possible with an external Thunderbolt connection. OWC's Excelsior 1M2 is an M.2 SSD to PCIe adapter card that ranges in size from 240 gigabytes to 8 terabytes of storage and achieves real-world transfer speeds of over 3,400 megabytes per second. In fact, a PCIe lane is so fast that in order to harness and maximize its true potential, you will want to purchase a PCIe card that can hold multiple M.2 NVMe SSDs at once. OWC's Excelsior 4M2 can have up to four SSD modules installed at once, like OWC's Aura P12 Pro M.2 NVMe SSD, for a storage capacity of one terabyte to an amazing 32 terabytes of storage. This card can achieve transfer speeds of 6,000 megabytes per second, while being able to use Soft RAID to create a super fast RAID volume for storage and backup. The advantages of NVMe M.2 storage solution is its pure speed and scalability of swapping or adding additional SSD modules. This is also the most expensive and is meant for internal PCIe connections found in a PC or Mac Pro. But what if we could have the best of both worlds? What if we had the ability to put multiple SSDs into a single external cartridge or shuttle that could then be installed and swapped out from an internal drive bay to an external RAID bay? This type of functionality is available and is called U.2 NVMe. Think of the U.2 NVMe as the two and a half or three and a half inch version of M.2. OWC's U2 shuttle is a U.2 carrier shuttle that can hold up to four NVMe M.2 SSDs at once. The advantage of OWC's U2 shuttle is that you can swap it out and use it in a variety of U.2 devices, such as PCs and servers with a three and a half inch drive bay, or into external storage devices such as OWC's Mercury Helios 3S, Mercury Pro U.2 Dual, or the Thunder Bay Flex 8. This type of functionality and portability is great for professionals who work with large amounts of data at a variety of locations where the fastest levels of speed and performance is the top priority. To recap, solid state drives use flash memory to access data to achieve their fast read and write speeds. SATA and SAS historically were the most common SSD internal storage. Newer computers are using internal NVMe SSDs. These drives are based on flash storage technology and use a computer's internal PCIe connection to achieve transfer speeds between 2400 megabytes per second to 3400 megabytes per second. External SSDs that use Thunderbolt, USB-C, or USB-4 connections use NVMe technology to achieve faster transfer speeds than SATA and SAS SSDs. The transfer speeds of external drives are impacted by the speed of their external port connections. NVMe SSDs that use the M.2 protocol for connection are able to be installed onto a PCIe adapter, then installed into an internal PC or Mac Pro PCIe slot. The PCIe internal slot is one of the fastest connections on a motherboard, with speed levels around six times faster than what the fastest external connection can achieve. In order to truly take advantage of PCIe bus speeds, install an NVMe M.2 PCIe adapter card that you can add multiple NVMe M.2 SSD modules into.
for the ultimate combination of speed and portability. U.2 technology allows multiple NVMe M.2 SSDs to be installed in a carrier shuttle that can then be swapped out and used in a variety of U.2 compatible internal drive bays, enclosures, and servers. These are the performance differences between SATA, SAS, and NVMe M.2 and U.2 solid state drives and technology. I'm Michelle for OWC Rocket Yard. Thank you for watching.